Welcome back to my beauty squad. How you been? If you're new, it's your girl Jessica. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down in that corner or at that one. And that you got that bell turned on. That way you get notified for any and every video I upload because your girl uploads often. Plus, I go live every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. And we have loads of fun. We chit chat. Play with makeup, play with skincare, talk, support each other, motivate each other, help each other grow, reach out, and, you know, just grow together. And also, um, I just found out recently that I am pregnant, so I also do my baby updates there a lot. Um... I am going to the doctor tomorrow. I will be going live at 8.30 to give everybody an update on what's going on there. Because I do not know how far along I am yet. And hopefully I will find out tomorrow. Which, I'm doing an ultrasound, so I know I'm going to find out tomorrow. So today I wanted to play with a new palette that I just got not too long ago. It's the James Charles Mini. James Charles and Morphe, the Mini palette. I heard awesome, nothing but awesome things about this palette. And when it went on sale at Ulta, I was like, uh, yes ma'am. Let me go ahead and snag that up. Because it was like 50% off. It's usually like $25 and I got it for $13. This is what she looks like. This is the case. If you can't tell, I, I try to keep all uh, my palettes in their cases for the most part. Here's the names to the shades. And here are the beautiful, beautiful shades. You can literally do anything and everything with this palette. Like, if you're just starting off with makeup, this will be a good uh, starter palette as well. Because Morphe's uh, formula, I don't have like a lot of Morphe's, but I do have uh, a handful of them now. I have the 24A Artistry, I have 35V, 35 Hotspot, I have the Jaclyn Hill Times Morphe, I recently just won the Jeffree Star Times Morphe, which I haven't played with this one yet. Can't wait, can't wait. Look, Stephanie, I put it up here, my little babies. Um, I'm still in the process of trying to rearrange everything. So, if I'm coming at it like a bad angle to y'all, I'm so sorry. Um, being I'm pregnant, especially like the first trimester, you're extra tired. And I literally had to move around my whole bedroom just to get this in here. And I'm, I'm trying to get it fixed, guys. If you caught my live last night, yes, yeah, last night, I kind of gave a little mini preview of what's going on with my area and everything i am doing a video on itself the before and after uh once i do get everything set up the way i want it to because like i said it still ain't there like i'm still moving stuff around as you can tell those are new back there if you caught my live yesterday i put some more stuff up here i've got my lie key set up there and I just, I want to get out a couple of palettes that I absolutely cherish and love and showcase them to the high heavens. I wish I could put shelves up, but where we at, he doesn't really want us putting anything on the walls. And I could totally understand why, because they're like paper thin. I feel like you're all deleted. One second. I'm using my, is that better? That, that's worse. I'm actually using my bed to hold my new tripod until I kind of get rearranged. Is that better? I think it's worse. Grr. Grr, grr, grr. I need something like really thin. Uh, I need this. There we go. I think that's better. Yeah. Okay, so, uh,. Yeah, like I said, it's going to be a lot of moving around, and I apologize ahead of time. But, as y'all know, I don't stop filming. I try to put out at least a video every day. I have been on to do two, and I've got plenty of collabs coming up, too, that I've kind of got to get done. 
So I can't just stop filming and get everything organized. I kind of got to work in between this, this, the baby sleeping, me being pregnant, my other seven kids that, you know, they're home 24-7. We had a little mini chaos with my oldest son with his cap and gown. He's graduating this year, and he tried to say that he didn't have certain credentials in to graduate, and yeah. It wasn't good, guys. It was not good. Because he was like, I know I've done it. It was like nine assignments. It wasn't good. He had a little mini breakdown today. So, I mean, dealing with that, which I was supposed to go to the doctor today. And they called me first thing this morning telling me my doctor wasn't in, that they would have to reschedule. Look. He's in the fresh. Senior sent me my giveaway. And I actually like it a lot. I didn't know how I was going to like it just because it was. I guess it's pretty flimsy. But it's really good highlighter. Like, y'all see that? And I'm using my Becca palette that I adore. That, like, that's my go to. Also, um, I used the Too Faced bronzer that we just received at our BoxyCharm Premium. It's right here. This was the choice item that I chose. I wish I kind of wish I didn't choose this because, like, if you didn't choose this, you kind of get like the Too Faced palette. But I guess you're not guaranteed. So when I saw this, I was like, okay, at least let me get this. Beggars can't be choosers, right? Also, I tried out these brushes today. <laughs> Are they worth $90? Hell no. I don't even like how it contoured my face because it just it laid it down so rough. And it didn't blend it out really good. This did take the powder off pretty decent. But this would probably be better for a blush. But I just, I like the angle brushes for blush. And see, my all-time favorite brush for, like, bronzing and contouring are these. These are my Kat Kat Von D. You see how, like, how they're angled? They got, like, a little V at the top. And I absolutely, I adore these. So, those are, like, my go-to I used the small one for cream uh, contour, and then I used the big one for powder. Also, I want to show you, uh, I got this in the mail today. I entered into Bobby and Stiletto's giveaway over on Instagram with Yama's Best, Share the Best Things and Love. And I literally just won this like last week. So it was super fast shipping, which I adore. I am so impatient when it comes to items. But it's a very, sil it's like a silky pillowcase. But you can go on Amazon and order from them. So if you're interested in any pillowcases, uh, I got the hookup for you. Right here to Amazon. Turn that down! Or you can also reach them through uh, Instagram. Look at this sheet. I ordered the extra, the king size pillow. Because I have a really big bed. Oh my god, I can't stand it with my nose waters. And y'all, what I like about this is zippered. So you can take your pillow and put it in here. And then zip it up. And you don't have to worry about it sliding out. Like, you know, the, the regular pillowcases that you have like this much standing out or... It fall out constantly because I don't have that problem. But ain't it gorgeous? And it feels so soft. I will uh, put this on my bed tonight and try it out. 
and let y'all know for sure like how I like it. I don't want to sit here and say, oh, it's the best steak ever. And, you know, I haven't even, like, put it on my head yet, like, used it. But it's supposed to help with, like, frizz and all that. And a girl could use some help. But it's, like, super big. Y'all see how big this is? Like, this is awesome. I can't tell you how much they retail. I should have went on and looked. That's my bad. I was just excited that I was something. Then I received two of a couple clothes that I ordered. I showed uh, a sweater that I got last night. Well, it's not really a sweater. It's like a long sleeve shirt. But this is a dress, a maternity dress that I ordered. And it wrinkles up on the sides. This is what the sleeves look like. I just ruffled at the top slightly. And it's like really super long and then it has a slit at the bottom only on one side it is gorgeous it feels really really good i love the material it's kind of like a silky material and then i got this little pullover it's also uh like a maturity pullover i will be wearing this tomorrow because it's been chilly the past couple days here but it's got the slit in the shoulders. And I thought that was just like so neat. And it's really super thin. So you can wear it. You know anytime really. You ain't gotta wait till it's like really super cold. And you know when you're pregnant. You're always like hotter than normal. So I like the material. And this was like $24. And that dress was $34. Which is not bad for the material. I will uh. When I go live tomorrow, I'll have that sweater on. I don't know when I'm going to try to dress on, but as soon as I do, I'll let y'all know how I like it. Let's jump into this palette, because we're already 12 minutes in. I'm going to do something really simple and fun. Like I said, I'm still trying to get organized over here, guys, so bear with me. I've got palettes that are here. I've got, it's just everywhere. I my brushes a little closer just because I don't know. I didn't organize them to wear like my favorite brushes are in wood area. Okay, I'm just gonna go in with a really fluffy brush first. And I like that this Morphe uh, palette has a beer. Not a lot of Morphe palettes have beers. The Jaclyn Hill one does it. The other two, the 35E and the 35 Hotspot does it. The Morphe Artistry Pass does. And I don't know about the Jeffree Star. I can't remember because I've only opened it once. And I want to go in... Let's do some of pink and purple. So let's try this light purple right here. It's like a purple pinkish. Just a little bit of kick up, not too much. And these brushes I got in uh, Allegra Chella Mystery Box. That I ordered off of Amazon through her. She did do uh, a video the other day talking about next time she has mystery boxes, they will not be on Amazon just because Amazon took so much money that at the end of the day she ended up having to pay them. And I really think that's crap. Because, I mean, you're selling stuff because you kind of need the money. I like guess all a business thing. So I thought that was pretty whack. But she does have a website herself where she sells like her mist. I absolutely love that mist. That will be something I will be repurchasing. It is $24, but in my opinion, 
well worth it. This brush is very like, very easy. It's, I don't want to say like flimsy, very soft. That might be a better term, but it's blended out the eyeshadow really good. Oh, yeah, I don't like using bright colors because I don't want to stain my brushes. I'm going to go in with this one right here. And I just want to pick up that darker purple just to give it a little bit more intensity. I'm gonna go on with this one. It's like a, it's still a blending brush, but it's a little bit smaller. That way I kind of have more control where I, I laid this color down. Cause I kind of want to leave this color right in my outer V and in my crease. Very pretty purple. There's a little bit of kick up, which a lot of Morphe palettes, they have it. But kick up doesn't really bother me. It's just so long as, you know, you don't have a lot of fallout on your face. I don't know. I don't know if it's the brush or if it's the eyeshadow itself. It's just, it's laying down pretty patchy. Which purples are hard to do, but it also might be my choice of brushes. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm doing my best to blend it all out. I think I'm gonna blend it out. This, this is like my best blended brush because it's so compact. Real Techniques, I love it. I love that brush. It's so awesome to blend out products. And I'm just gonna go in with that light purple again right over top and blend it up just a little bit more. Hey guys, I just wanna give everybody on here a big thank you. I am so Freaking close and being monetized. Like, it is unreal. I have 3,436 hours watch time. And all I need 4,000. So, for everyone that's been watching my videos, everyone that's been playing my playlist, thank you. Thank you, every one of y'all that are subscribed and y'all support me and stay with me all my lives. Could not be doing this without y'all. I would not be here without y'all. That's for dang sure. And I'm just truly blessed. So I appreciate each and every one of y'all. I kind of want to use that blue. I was going to do pink and purple, but I don't really see a pink. I'm just going in with a flat brush. This is a Lamar brush that I just got from Sia and I didn't wet it I want to see how it lays down without being wet first okay it's there barely but it can be built it up yeah see that let's try it wet 
Let's try. I don't like going in straight. Oh wow, I kind of like sprayed my mirror and all. Oh wow. Oh yeah. Do y'all see that now? Like, hello. Shiver, how have you been? That's actually really pretty together. I do not know how that was going to turn out. But I'm liking it. And I'm sorry if y'all hear a little bit of noise in the background. That is, of course, my kids are there. I think they're playing games or something. I don't know. And yelling at each other, of course. Gotta love it, right? Gotta love that they're home constantly. Just all the time now. I want to even the purple just a tad. And I'm using that light shade that I used to begin with. Oh my goodness, y'all. I was singing. What was it? Oh. If I had a hammer, i tell you what I do. i go downtown. Sup, sup, sup. I can't remember no more. I'm going over that really bright pink. I want to incorporate some kind of pink in this look. And that is okay. Not the best. And then I use that bright pink and then I want to go in with this. It's like a baby pink and just like buff it out. And then I need a shimmer for my inner corner. Bam. Bam. Yes. Yes. I like it. I'm liking it. Boys, TV. I can. And I told you, I can't. Y'all can't be playing TV like that. Now I'm listening, Yannis. Y'all see that inner corner in that top I used. That shimmer right there. So with this look, gorgeous. Um, I used that for my bottom and then buffed it out with that. Went in with these two purples for my upper lid. And then this is the shimmer I used. Beautiful blue. The guy who told me I was gonna love that blue. Somebody told me I was gonna love that blue. And then that shimmer right there. 
really simple but beautiful look I mean don't get me wrong I could have went a lot simpler why is it doing that okay I think I got it right now. I will never know. But I'm going to jump off here, finish up my eyes, and come right back. Just because I don't want this video to be too super long. I'm back. So, I just went in with mascara. I didn't do nothing really too much for this. I thought the look was really pretty by itself. I will top it off with some lip gloss. Absolutely love this shade and the way it feels on my lips is the Avon that I got from my bestie. She sent me. Hi, she's so sweet. I can love it. And called Sugar Shine Luster Sugar. Luster Sugar. <laughs> but beautiful shade. I absolutely love the finish of it. And it stays like tacky and wet for a while. So if that's like the feel you're going for or the look, that's a good lip gloss. Which Avon has pretty good stuff. I've never heard anything really bad about Avon, ever. I haven't really used it, but I've got quite a bit of samples here now, so I get to try it out. So y'all, please let me know what do y'all think about the James Charles. Do you have it already? Is it on your wish list? Um, Cause I mean, it was on my wish list for a while. Before I ever broke down and actually got it. There's a lot of palettes on my wish list. A lot. Um, I know I want the Norvina 4. So freaking bad. I want the Norvina 2 and 3 also. So, you know, if I can get the Nor Norvina 2 and 3 right now, I will be Gucci. But all in this time, makeup is makeup. If I don't ever get it, it's okay. I'm pretty sure I can... Fluctuate a look around it. Like no biggie biggie, you know. Are they nice to have? Of course, because I'm a makeup lover. And I'm, I just, I love makeup. And I love getting new makeup. But it ain't essential in it. Like I have to have it on my die. So I'm not going to complain. Um, I do have a couple of collabs coming up. I have a collab with my bestie, Amanda Duh. I got a collab with Mommy Still Letters, Miss Kimberly. That is Friday. And me and um, Amanda is Saturday. And then, if I'm not mistaken, me and my sis Stacy is doing what Sunday. And then also, I have my drag queen looks going up Saturday. So I might need to talk to Amanda and switch ours off. Yeah, because I don't I, I, I don't mind posting twice a day, but I don't like to push a video down. I don't like to overwhelm y'all because there's so many amazing people on here that we have to follow and support all together. And I just don't want to overwhelm y'all with two or three videos of mine personally. And I know a lot of y'all try y'all's hardest to get through and watch all of our videos. And it's not fair for me to take up so much time. So yeah, I might decide to try to um, move mine and Amanda's to maybe Monday. I'll have to talk to her. Because I was supposed to do it tomorrow. But I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow. And so I won't be here. And then my live will be based on, you know, of course, it's baby talk. I mean, I could do it on my live, but I rather, I like to do a video when I do collabs. I don't like just to do it on my live. I'd rather do it in a video, and that way I could put her link in the description and stuff like that. But this is my final look. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I absolutely love these colors together. 
I think it's really, it's a little different. I haven't tried purple and blue like this, but I love it. Like, I love it. Um, y'all make sure y'all have your, uh, you have, you are subscribed. It is a free way to support me and just to help me out, like, really, truly. And also, turn your bell on. That way you get all my notifications. I do go live tomorrow night, and it's a big one. Special update on the baby. Pretty sure everybody wants to be there. Y'all are very important to me in my life. And I want to, every milestone, I want each and every one of y'all there. And so, I love y'all. Stay safe. Stay home if you can. If not, make sure you you. You just use precautions. Be care careful out there. It still is a very dangerous place right now. So just keep your eyes peeled. And I love y'all. And I'll see y'all tomorrow on my live.